here's a scenario. Let's say uh, this is a, an uh, electrode that you want to machine with a 2D orbit gap. 2D orbit gap of 0.1 for example. And the cutter that you are using it is ball 2 cutter. As you know, for ball 2 cutter, if you try to use the 2B or B gap, you are unable to use it. Let's I'm going to on this, and I'm, now I'm going to try to put a point 0.1 uh, and calculate. Okay, so this is a message. That means if you want to use 2D orbit gap, you have to use a flat end mill tool or a bull nose cutter, not the ball nose. Okay. Now, the question is is there any work around? Uh, one thing that I can uh, think of is to machine the orbit gap or orbit offset by G41 and G42. To do that, let's look at this process here. Let's look at the first process. So, uh, you can use a process inside the legacy options, legacy by layer, this uh, cutting process. And then, over here, the machine parameters, make sure you on enable compensations for 1 and for 2. And the rest is, is quite standard. Approach, clearance, entry, boundary, of course, surface offset. In this case, I'm going to put zero for the surface offset. And of course, you, for this uh, legacy, legacy functions, you need to define uh, the Z top and the Z bottom that you want to cut. And I'm going to use a down set of 1 mm. And set these parameters as what you see here and then I'll calculate and this is the result okay this is the result okay this by layer so with these functions although the surface offset is zero but I'm going to show you let's post the Z code I'm going to use the demo post and okay here you are the machines okay I find this I find it as you can see uh, the program will cut every layer with a compensation activate G41 after the one layer then uh, G40 then after that it will activate back again G41 here okay so what you need to do for this program is on your machines you just key in the uh, 2D orbit gap of 0 0.1 and machine your part. So after machine your part, your part will have x y smaller than one, uh, smaller than 0 0.1 per side. Okay. And okay. This by layer functions you have a problem. The problem is the pitching, as you can see, the pitching of the horizontal surface, especially from zero degree to forty degree, like here on the top and somewhere here, the pitching is very big. Very big. Why? 
One method to solve this uh, pitching problem, of course, you can uh, do it manually. For example, you can cut uh, from this zero to these locations with a smaller pitching, and also from this layer to this layer with a smaller pitching manually. Create a few uh, different process. This is one way. Uh, the other way is by using the between layer. So you can go and uh, on the between layer function here, and you must make sure you use uh, the concern Z if you want the compensation to activate. If you use other options, no compensations. So concern Zack, and I'm going to choose a contour milling, no, just a contour milling, and two passes, and mean to the mean to this distance. What do you mean by the minimum to this distance? For example, I'm setting here 1.5. It means that let's look at the original two part and go to the top view. It means that from the top, if Simaton find between these two uh, two part here, the gap here is bigger than the minimum two D distance. It will cut. It will cut. So I'm going to show you here back again. Let's come back to here again. And maximum of pass. How many how many times you want to cut? Here I put two. Two times. Okay. This is the result. You see? The purple color is the original. Original without the between layer on. The side color you can see here at the middle of these two. Because this region here is bigger than the minimum 2D side step and it cut two paths. Okay, this is how, how the system control. So with these options, you can uh, ask Simaton to automatic cut also those uh, horizontal area. Not the zero degree area because the zero degree area, uh, this function will not cut, right? The flat area, but you can cut a area, for example, from maybe uh, one degree to forty degree. Okay, you will check uh, between the two parts if the gap is bigger than uh, the maximum two gap, then you will add another two parts between the two original paths. This is what you do, the between layer. And of course, uh, how about the flat area? A flat area, you can always create a uh, flat area cut by this function here, the horizontal planar area. Okay. Of course, uh, for this uh, horizontal area cut, uh, there's no compensations code. I want to show you. Here. Uh, let me try to find for example G4. Okay, so I'm gonna find another one here. So there's no G440 and G41. Okay. But I think this is still okay for the electrodes. So now you have this uh, process here that uh, can cut the object gap, 2D object gap with the G4142 options.